Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm using the Chinese fortune reading cards. Um, I just felt that lots of people have been asking questions about well-being, financial well-being, abundance. And I wanted to do a reading in which we could get a feel uh, for what it means for us right now. So um, this, uh, while it is a general oracle card reading and you can take it any way you'd like, uh, it has a kind of slant of having something to do with abundance, something to do with uh, finance um, and economic well-being. And so the stones here reflect that as well. And so we have option one and option two. Um, and we have option three. So go ahead, make your selection and I'm going to start the reading. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number one here, I'm just going to feel through the cards and feel what is the card that's come out for you this week. And it feels very much to me like it's this card here that wants to come out. So the card here is called Karma and it's the number 16. And I feel here that there's a, a great emphasis on karmic episodes in your life right now. So you might find that um, if you do something, you would more often uh, than not see the a reaction to it immediately. So I feel in this week, it's going to be like that. I feel like for those of you who do, who have chosen this card, you've started to feel like that last week already. And so by the time this video comes out, you've, you've had something of this feeling probably, where you found that you've done something and there's been a reaction to it, a reaction that's likely equal to your the, the action that you've taken. And um, sometimes, you know, karma is not always something um, that is negative. Karma is also something that can be positive. It can also be something that, you know, you do something good and you gain something for it. So you might have made some movement in your life and this has brought some change, which is actually good. I feel also that there's a um, a message here that states that there's something that's, that, that which is destined for you will not uh, escape you. It will not leave you. It will not forsake you. And so it's something to to bear in mind. But I feel also here that um, the karma is not just something that belongs to you and you only, but it's something that uh, for some of us uh, this week, it might mean that it has an hereditary, hereditary aspect. And so they might it might be that um, certain karma that's been um, inherited from your family or from parents um, could actually bear something in your own life or in the lives of your children and it's important to look at this and look at what does it mean what do my actions really mean what have the actions of my family really meant how does it impact me how is it that the actions that my grandparents have taken have impacted me until today and how can I ensure that I could take actions that won't have negative impact as I go forward, not just in my own life, but perhaps for my offspring. And for those of you who don't have offspring, then perhaps for the world around you. With this karma is a feeling of rebirth and renewal. And it's almost a feeling of um, leaving behind that which no longer serves you, leaving behind a particular energy that no longer works for you and work, working towards uh, a new energy. And with this new energy comes a feeling of purity. It comes a feeling of uh, being able to move forth and, and begin again. It's almost like a rebirth kind of energy. And I think it's very much in tune with that uh, new moon that we're going to have tomorrow. Um, well, probably by the time this video is uploaded, you um, it'll be on the same day as this new moon. So I think that this week for you is actually a great week to look at how your actions in the past have impacted you today and how actions of your forefathers or parents have impacted you and continue to impact you today. And how can you perhaps limit the damage of that or do some damage control as far as that is concerned? And sometimes it's not about doing damage control, but rather um, by observing what was good in your lives and being able to bring forth that 
as you go for, as you go ahead, being able to recognize what was good, what were the good decisions that were made in your life and how can you use that as you go forward. And I think here as well is an excellent opportunity for rebirth, for an, op- an opportunity to move ahead. And sometimes, you know, when you move ahead, it doesn't mean that you've got to leave all behind. Uh, you can't take with you all that you want to. It's just about having a different perspective as you go along. It's not about shutting out the world. It's not about shutting out people. It's not about forsaking others as you go along and begin anew. It's It can be that you take others along with you and that you you simply have a newer perspective or you inject a newer energy into something that you would like to have as you go ahead. So this is an excellent week to begin in you and to uh, choose a different path, choose a different karma for you as you go along. So that is my message for you for this week. I hope that has resonated and I hope that it helps you as you go along. And I wish you a beautiful week. Many, many blessings to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, we're asking, what is the message that we need for this week? What is it that we need to hear as we go along? So I'm just going to spread these cards out here and um, try to get a feel for what it is that you need to hear as you go along in this week. And this feels to me like the right card. And so for those of you who've chosen the second option, you have new beginnings and it's the number one. Now, I feel that this has so much to do with the fact that we have a new moon tomorrow and on so many levels, there can be new beginnings. I feel that in your particular case, it's um, the be- new beginnings feels very fresh to me. It almost feels like just before the dawn or uh, or at the dawn. And it feels to me like um, something brand new beginning a new path ahead of you and it's up to you to decide whether you actually bark upon this path or whether you regress um, or go backwards to what is comfortable or what you know. I feel here that there is an opportunity for great abundance as you go ahead but it may not be um, in terms of quantity but rather in quality. So you might feel that the abundance that you experience has more to do with the the quality of your relationships, the quality of your time, the quality of time spent, um, and and less to do with how much you receive for that or or what it is that you receive uh, in terms of monetary value. I feel also that here you've been given a new start, you've been given a new opportunity to walk uh, a new path where you can actually begin anew and you don't have to think about the past. It's like, you know, you're you're back to the drawing board. The slate's been wiped clean and you can draw whatever you want to on it. And it's almost like you can actually do whatever it is that you want. You can actually make the choices that you desire. And it's not about, um, it's not about, you know, limitation or restriction in any way. It's rather about what is it that you truly desire and how is it that you can go about achieving that. And and it's this message here. It talks about being able to do that and having the support of the universe to be able to do that and creating a brand new beginning for it. I would say that this card in this position at this time um, would indicate that anything new that you begin would be prosperous. Anything new that you begin would have a blessing from the universe and would have the a chance of being successful. I think here the it's important to just remember to be focused on what it is that you desire and not um, forget what it is that you desire. So you might be beginning anew and going in a particular direction, but you might be wanting something that's in a different direction. And then you, you know, perhaps you're beginning something now, but then you expect that you will begin something new again um, later on, like maybe March or April, or maybe you begin something later on, you know, at the end of the year, next year. Um, And this card is talking about just being focused on where it is that you're ultimately headed and not really where it is that you need to go to right now, but where it is that you're going to be at in the future. Where is it that you need to be next year? I would say uh, around August, September, October, November, those months. 
are are going to be important for you and whatever seeds you plant now uh, you're going to reap the benefit of it then or you're going to be able to be more fully engaged when it comes to those months later next year then you are going to be um, earlier in the year. This is not to say that there won't be movement earlier in the year or, or later this year, but rather that you are more um, present or more in it. That's taken roots, you know, already. So it might be an application or a purchase of something. And then uh, it takes all these months for the administration process to be complete. And then, uh, then at that time of the year next year, you find yourself in the, in the new purchase or in the new study that you've embarked upon. And so the focus has to be there. And the reason I mentioned this is that it's so important not to give up your focus and not to just be focused on what it is that you need to do now. So many of you may be heading home for the holidays to your family um, or, or preparing for family to come to you. And that may be the focus right now. But this card is also a kind of reminder or the energy I'm getting is just focus uh, a lot on where it is that you need to be at next year it's not don't give up too soon and and don't uh think that you know it's it's time for the holidays now and and you can just leave that aside and and you'll think about it you pick it up in january um this there's a message here for somebody out there um not sure who this applies to but there's a message there to say listen don't give up focus on it right now and just put you all behind it. And what, what you're going to find is that uh, you will have gotten it. You will have achieved it uh, come next year. And you will be in it uh, already um, by before the end of the year next year. All right. So that's my message for you. I hope that resonates. I hope that helps as you go along. I wish you all very well. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy and many, many blessings to you all. So I've just spread out these cards here today and I'm just going to feel where is it that you, where is it that your card is? Where is it that your advice will come from today? And this feels to me to be the right card. And we have the card of travel. So the card of travel has come up for those of you who have chosen this um, this third option. And so for some of you, you may be traveling this week um, and um, that might be an important thing for you. And um, the message here for you is that there may be a sense that you're leaving deeper waters or dangerous waters to go to something that is more familiar or um, you're leaving um, not turbulent waters, I wouldn't say it's turbulent, but rather something that has not been necessarily easy or something that has the potential to be dangerous or something that has the potential to not be as as comfortable as where you're headed to. And there's a lot of activity that is uh, awaiting. There's a lot of busyness and activity and it might be that when you are there when it might be it might be that you travel somewhere this week and you are there and then you kind of wish that you were back or you wish that um there was less activity you wish there was a bit more quiet there's something about where you're going from that you're going to be missing um so it's, it almost feels like it's a kind of independence that you'll be missing or it's a kind of um a feeling of um, just having quiet time that you'll be missing because where you're headed to is quite busy. Uh, for those of you who aren't traveling and um, this message doesn't really work for you, I want to say that this week for you is probably going to be one where you're moving from stillness and wellness and well-being. So a lot of busyness at the end of the week and a lot of, um, I wouldn't say chaos, chaos is not the right word, but quite a lot of a, a really bustling space. And it might be that you're not necessarily ready for that bustling or that that energy or that busy energy that's coming around you. Uh, but you fi find yourself confronted with it. I would also say here that even though at the time at which you may be traveling, uh, you may feel some kind of trepidation or some degree of apprehensiveness. Um, the travel that you are embarking upon, either within or with 
uh, outside of you is actually going to be a, an important part of um, the time as you go ahead. It's a necessary part of what you're going to be doing. And once again, for those of you who aren't embarking on any travel, it might just be that you are going inward and entering a stiller space within yourself, while outside of you, there might be quite a lot of movement. And this is an important part of this uh, journey right now. For some of you, you may think, well, you know, travel is not an important part of my journey right now. And I actually would prefer not to have done this. I would prefer not to be doing this at all. But um, it's still, this card comes up to say that it's it's good that you're doing this. It's meant to be. It's important to move away from these uh, still deep waters. Um, and the, um, the, the, there's the saying that comes to mind, like still waters run deep. Because I feel like what you're moving away from is... Um, there's more to be seen or, or more known here than you know or that you're exposed to. So it's actually good that you've moved away from this and that you're moving to something else. Uh, for some of you, it might not be any movement at all. And you might be thinking, OK, well, you know, I'm not even thinking of going inward. I'm not even thinking of working or being on the cap in that capacity. But I would say here that there is something... Um, which is hidden from you and what lies ahead may be a distraction and you might not see it at the beginning but it will be brought to light later on now that's a bit of a strange message it's more like a um, kind of psychic message for a particular person here it might not resonate with every single one of you um, it's it's definitely not a kind of message I usually give here on the weekly oracle card guidance but I just feel like um, there's something that's going on here that you don't know the full truth about or you don't know the full story about. And this is not necessarily bad, but the move away or the, the energy move away that you're doing right now or the change of plans that you might be making. It might just be that you change some plans um, or you might decide not to go somewhere that you've planned to go to. You might decide to stay at home instead. Any of these things are actually meant, it's like not meant to be, but it's, it's good for you. It's almost like you're being guided to do this right now. There's a sense also with this card about being open to new experiences and keeping oneself open and um, allowing other influences to come into your life, other cultures, other ways of thinking, just being open to that and not letting it get to you. There's also a sense here of going to another land or going to another place and new opportunities coming up for you there. So it's almost like you can go somewhere right now and be able to create something for yourself, like a, some kind of uh, deal, like um, f some kind of financial opportunity. So if you've been putting off some travel or if you've been putting off doing something like moving to a new destination or um just yeah moving from one place to the other like let's just say you know you need to go somewhere but you've been putting off that you know you know you're thinking okay I'll do that next year or I'll do that next month uh this card here is saying that if you do it this week or if you make some kind of move towards doing that this week like you plan it it's going to be fortuitous for you it's going to actually be um a time of prosperity for you so go ahead and and try try that at this time so um I feel here that this, well, there's something here about some kind of conflict. Like it's almost like you might go ahead and do it, but there's some kind of conflict that you have within yourself. Like there's a part of you that needs some kind of quietness or well-being and, and something else. But then there's a lot of movement and a lot of bustling, a lot of things happening, a lot of feelings, a lot of activity uh, going on around you. So it might just be that you're very tired and it's been a difficult long year and that you just need some time alone. But you have to go to family or you have to go somewhere and there's a lot of activity and it's hard for you to take that all in at once because uh, because what you are yearning for right now is some quietness and some quiet time. So that just could apply to one, two of you. But uh, there is a kind of sense that I'm getting from this card. It's like there's this conflict between being with yourself and going out and being uh, with others as well so I don't know if that resonated uh, let me do let me know if it does and I hope 
this message does help you as you go along. I wish you a lovely week as you go ahead and many, many blessings to you all. Lots of love and blessings bound from Kismet Rising.